All right, everybody. Right now, Professor Layton and Luke are trying to find people who need tea. And that's basically every single character in the game. Jackpot! Ooh, what's this? I write a hint coin. Thanks for the help, Layton Jr. And this is Rory. He wants a glass of sugar smoke. Alright, so which one is Sugar Smoke? No, no, here we go! Interesting. Well, I think we already know how uh, Duke Anton's relationship ends, but I think it had a happy ending. Alright, that's it for Rory. Found one! Hey, Layton Jr. is finding all sorts of hint coins. Okay, that's it for Rory. Sometimes, when you give tea to a person, they will have a puzzle for you. And both of these characters should have some tea for us, right? Ah, come on. When you have sweat drops coming out of a person, that means the person wants to have some tea. Okay, so this is Krantz, and he wants some Cherry Boost. Alright, Cherry Boost. Here we go, number five. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Opal. Both of them want to drink some tea. They just don't know it yet. So basically, if somebody isn't thirsty, you just walk around, go back and forth, and eventually, they will become thirsty. Come on, come on. I'm not lying, I swear. Here we go! Finally, finally! Okay, Sammy, he wants some cinder flour. Really, Luke? You didn't know he played guitar? Come on! Sammy is the rock and roll conductor, man! Alrighty. So that was Cinder Flower, right? Here we go, number 11. Alrighty, Opal? Found one! Thank you, Layton Jr. Now, Opal is the character who never had a puzzle for me. So I'm hoping that when we give her tea, this will cause her to give us a puzzle. 
I know for a fact that when you go to the antique store and you give the person tea, that person is going to have a puzzle for you. I don't know if that happens with Opal. Come on, Opal, get thirsty. I don't like going back and forth in between the hotel over and over and over and over again. Alright! Here we go. Alright, so Opal also wants some cinder flower, which is number 11. Yes, a puzzle? A puzzle? I think we are finally going to get a puzzle from Opal. All right! Puzzle number 91, sharing the wealth. Finally, a puzzle from Opal. There were like five videos in a row where I tried to get a puzzle from her, but she didn't give me a puzzle. Alright, so this is another one of those puzzles where we have to divide up the board into four spaces and each space has one of the various items. Okay, so each space is going to have a tree, some water, a field, and a house. Let me see, how are we going to do this? I think that's how we do it. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh, wonderful. All right. We got a puzzle from Opal, and it was an easy puzzle. Let's hope the other tea puzzles are just as simple. And let's see, does she have something new to say now? Well, she has something new to say, but it's not very interesting. And both of the characters here need tea. This guy over here, and this girl over here. Alright, you just go back and forth until one of them wants some tea. Now this is a sticky wicket! Can I help you with something? I have all the- Okay, I'm doing the same voice for both Professor Layton and Dawson. It's not really working. Okay, cup of tea. Dawson wants some... Sain Kain Twilight. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But here it is, number 10. Puzzle number 65, The Ancient Map. Okay, so we need to write the numbers 1 through 6 in the blank spaces so that each line has the same sum. Alright, let's see if I can solve this. So this must be 6. 4 and 6 is 10. Do, 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 makes 1, 3, 5, and 2. No, 5 and 2. There we go. Okay, so that's our solution. Each 
line adds up to 10. So what do we do after that? We need to locate the spot which is 1. Okay, number 1 is this spot right over here. And now to test my theory. And there we have it.